Thomas and the Ghost Engine. It was Halloween on the island of Sodor. The Bat Controller had organized a fireworks display, and all the engines were very excited. Edward was telling the engines spooky stories while they waited for the fireworks to begin. They say that on Halloween, a ghost engine returns to the smelter's yard, looking for his lost whistle, said Edward. Spooky, said the other engines. Just then, the fat controller arrived at the shed. Thomas, Percy, and Doc I have a special job for you, said the fat controller. I need you to go to the smelter's yard tonight and move some trucks of scrap. On Halloween? stuttered Percy, feeling scared. Don't worry, Percy, smiled the fat controller. You won't miss the fireworks. Percy isn't worried about missing the fireworks, teased Thomas. He's a scary engine. I am not, cried Percy. But secretly, he was a bit scared. Percy, Duck, and Thomas steamed off to the smelter's yard. Thomas teased them all the way there. When they arrived at the yard, all Percy could think about was the ghost engine. What's that up there? said Thomas. Is it a ghost? It's just a piece of scrap, isn't it? replied Percy, nervously looking around the yard. Thomas giggled. He was having fun teasing Percy. Careful the ghost engine doesn't get you, Thomas said to Percy as they did their work. There are no such things as ghosts, snapped Percy, though he wasn't feeling too sure. Duck felt sorry for Percy. Nobody's brave all the time, he told Percy kindly. Before long their job was nearly finished. Well done, said the yard manager. I just need one engine to stay and finish up. Duck wanted to pay Thomas back for teasing Percy. I'm sure Thomas wouldn't mind staying, said Duck. Of course not, puffed Thomas proudly. I'm not a scaredy engine. So Duck and Percy left Thomas all alone at the yard. As soon as Thomas was by himself, he started to feel scared. The smell yard was very spooky in the dark. There are no such things as ghosts, he said to himself. But he couldn't stop looking out for them. Thomas was so busy searching for ghosts, he didn't look where he was going. He ran into something that brushed against his face. Oh, ghost fingers, peeped Thomas. Thomas was too scared to see that the ghost fingers were just some old chains. Help! Something's got me! Whistled Thomas. It's the ghost engine! And he raced away as fast as his wheels could carry him. Thomas steamed along the track in a panic. The ghost engine is after me! He cried. It was naughty of Thomas to tease you, Percy, said Duck on their way back to the sheds. He was only playing, said Percy kindly. I hope he hurries up. I don't want him to miss the fireworks. Just then, Thomas reached past them at top speed. <laughs> the ghost engine is after me! wailed Thomas. Duck laughed and laughed. Thomas isn't as brave as he makes out, chuckled Duck. The fireworks were about to start, but Thomas was nowhere to be seen. Where's Thomas? Percy asked. He'll miss all the fun. It would serve him right after all this teasing, said Duck. But Percy was worried. He went to look for his friend. Finally, he found Thomas all alone in the shed, looking scared. Are you all right, Thomas? asked Percy. Yes. And I'm sorry I teased you, said Thomas. He felt guilty. Duck was right. We all feel scared sometimes. And we all have to say sorry sometimes, smiled Percy. Come on, Thomas. We can watch the fireworks just as well from here. Just then, the first firework whooshed upwards, 
filling the sky with hundreds of sparkling and glittering stars. Thomas felt very glad to have a friend like Percy.